Good afternoon, everybody. Hi, my name is Jack. I'm from Sunway Tests. I'm a senior lecturer uh, in Sunway Tests, teaching the ICAW program. So very good to have you with us. Um, well, today what we're going to do is uh, we are going to introduce to you uh, the program called ICAW. And this particular program is a international program whereby we are going to um, have you be introduced to this particular system where you will be taking on a versatile career and you're going to be an individual that will be independent and of course uh, taking on a very exciting uh, challenge in your life. All right, so let's start with uh, my slides, okay? So I'm going to introduce to you uh, the program now. First of all, uh, this is Sunway College. All right, if you have not been to Sunway College, this is how Sunway College looks like. So um, it's in Banda Sunway, all right, Petaling Jaya. Now, um, what we're going to do today is going to run through uh, an introduction of what ICW is and understand how the qualification is framed up. Uh, and of course, understanding the uh, program structure. And from there on, uh, the different modules that you will study and how this qualification is still relevant with technology and what are the career prospects as a ICW graduate. So, and then from there on, uh, Mr. Rafik will come in to introduce to you our program on how you could actually sign up for it. And of course, uh, we will have a Q&A session at the end of it. So, um, if you have any questions, uh, we will reserve them for the end of the session, all right? And then from there on, we will answer accordingly. So, ICAW, what does ICAEW actually stand for? Right, I said you actually stand for Institute of Chartered Accountants, England and England and Wales. So it is actually a UK qualification, right? Uh, and it's recognized in Malaysia, okay, uh, by the Malaysian Institute of Accountants to be chartered accountants. So uh, it has been established since 19, uh, sorry, 1880, more than a hundred years, all right, 143 years to be exact, okay, by Royal Charter based in London, and of course, there are international offices whereby you can also work in, which is in Beijing, Brussels, Dubai, Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, Hong Kong, Jakarta, Kuala Lumpur, Shanghai, and Singapore. Okay, so this qualification is recognized worldwide. And they are a total of 159,000 members all around the world, right? Um, and of course, over 200 training providers for this qualification. And do you know that in Malaysia, all our students actually get 100% placement into the uh, organizations. So that means it's a guaranteed job when you come into this qualification, when you pass the qualification. So this particular qualification is very special is because of the fact that there are 15 exams that you can take. And on top of it, you will be required to go out and work for 450 days as a practical experience, just like when you train to be a doctor, you need to go through articles, uh, the internship, right? So an article chip. So just like the um, professions, like the accountants, uh, will also have to go through this particular process of training. So you go through this 15 exams, all right? And then from there on, you will go out for 440 days, which is about one and a half years to two years to two years, depending on how you um, plan your learning experience, okay, uh, you will then be able to be awarded this ACA qualification. So that is the difference between this qualification and other qualifications is because of the fact that this is tied up together with working experience. So um, the program, the 15 papers that you're going to take will start with a certificate level. So SPM students can actually come in and do the certificate level. In the past, this qualification is only exclusive to degree students in the UK. But in some way tests, you can actually do that, do this qualification, starting with a certificate level, all right, with a SPM qualification, all right? So it's a very exciting uh, program where you don't need to go to UK to do this qualification and you don't need a degree to get into it like what it was in the past. And uh, after the certificate level, you will join the professional level and after the professional level, you will start to work in the real world, all right? And as you're working, you come back and do three other papers. So that's where the working experience comes about. So let me introduce to you a little bit about, you know, the papers that you're going to be sitting in, in terms of what kind of uh, subjects that you will take. 
First of all, of course, this is a qualification that relates to accounting. So the foundation in accounting will be given to you. And you don't have to worry whether you're uh, a science student or an art student, or even if you have got a principal account, you don't have to worry about that because we'll go back to the very basics of accounting, all right? And you will learn from the beginning. So you don't have to be an accounting student to do this qualification. All right. And once you finish this accounting paper, you, there are other papers such as business technology and finance, whereby you will learn how a business is being run. All right. You will learn about how an organization becomes successful using technology and the finance function. How does it actually work in the uh, real world? And of course, uh, being an accountant, you will also learn how to do assurance in terms of audit. All right. And this is where you will learn to look at the accounts of the organization and see whether they are in proper order, right? And give a certification to confirm that it's a valid uh, valid uh, accounts. And from there on, uh, you will be able to see into many, many different types of organizations, financial performances, because you are required to audit these organizations. So, and apart from that, you will learn about costing, you will learn about management accounting. You will also learn about law and tax. So these six papers, will complete within one and a half years to two years, depending on your speed, all right? And from there on, you'll move on to the professional level. And at the professional level, it would be a slightly more difficult level compared to what we used to do in the uh, certificate level. So it will take you to the level of application. You will learn how to apply your uh, thinking skills on how to report your financials, audit and uh, do assurance, as well as manage the financials of the organization. So this is something that many people don't realize that actually being an accountant is not just only about numbers. You will even learn things like the business strategy and technology, and you will learn how to plan for a business in taxation, banking, and assurance, uh, and insurance as well. And because of the fact that these are the papers that you will learn. So once you have finished the professional level, and some people will ask, the, this very important question, is this qualification difficult? All right, well, this qualification is doable. It's not impossible. And we look into the Sunway test pass rates, all right, and the world pass rates. If you can see that it is not a pass rate that's below 50%, it is above 80%. And these qualifications, right, is not unachievable. A lot of people think that this qualification is difficult because Many people think, oh, it's a UK qualification, it must be SUSA, it must be difficult. Actually not, all right? If you go through the course with Sunday test, if you look at the pass rates, we even will win world, world, win, uh, world Prize uh, Awards, as well as we are an organization that is able to also get you above the world pass rates, okay? So it may be difficult to many people, but if you come to Sunway, it can be doable. Now. Once you have finished a professional level, you will go out to work with the authorized training enterprises. And from there on, after you have worked for at least one year, you'll come back and do the last three papers. And the special thing about these last three papers is that these three papers is a combination of what you have learned earlier on. So this gives you a good integration of all the skills that you have learned in the past from all the other papers together with the working experience to advise organizations, to help the organizations make good decisions to ensure that they are successful, all right? Whether you are a social enterprise doing charity, whether you are a government organization, or whether your organization is for profit, you will be able to advise them because of the fact that your qualification here combines all the skills that you've learned in the past six papers and the uh, in the professional and six papers is a difficult level, all combined together to take this paper. So you are prepared to work with the board of directors of companies, all right, when you do this qualification. So this qualification has a lot of technology elements. A lot of people will think that, oh, being an accountant, all right, would actually become irrelevant. Actually not, okay? What you will need to understand is that every single organization would require an accountant. And in fact, there are a very limited number of people doing this qualification now. And if you do this qualification, what will happen is you will become very sought after. Okay, Many people doing different courses. However, very few people doing this qualification. All right, Because it's still a qualification that's not very well known in the market. And if you do it, it will be a, something that will make you be very, very popular. 
Okay, so everybody will try to grab you because of your ability to integrate the business fund fundamentals as well as understand all these technologies such as artificial intelligence, blockchain, cyber security, cloud computing, data analytics, internet of things, all this that is in the real world. All right. So, and you realize that nowadays people are using chat GPT, right, to find answers and all that. But what kind of questions that you can ask chat GPT? How are you going to be able to manage all these technologies? So doing this qualification will help you to develop the thinking skills to be able to handle these technologies. All right. And even if an organization says that, oh, I want an artificial intelligence in the organization, how do we do it? And what will be the things that we need? They will come to you as an accountant. And I'll ask you, do we have the finances to deploy this artificial intelligence? Do we have the resources and how are we going to implement it? They will come back to you. Okay. So technologies may get obsolete, but an accountant will not be obsolete. So what is the career prospect of being an ICW graduate? So you can actually work in any, any of these particular organizations, even if you're interested in football or interested in starting up your technology firms like you know Steve Jobs or you know starting up a TikTok company, you will still need an accountant. You will still need to be an individual that understand the numbers, all right, and make good decisions. So whether you're working in a hotel, whether you're working in media prima, whether you're working as a technologist or even a TikToker, all right, you need to know financials, all right. So this particular qualification allows you to open doors to any of these organizations. I have a student who used to work for LVMH, all right, the company that actually is in the fashion industry, the biggest fashion industry, uh, the fashion uh, brand in the whole world, all right? Why? Because that organization will still need an accountant. And of course, some of the things that people don't realize that they can actually do will be being an entrepreneur, right being into the areas of information and technology right could be a top expert could be financial analyst can go into forensic accounting or even consultancy and investment banking so there's so many options that you can actually go in and try with this particular qualification and where can you work look at all these companies they're the top companies in malaysia right and they are all our training providers so and these are the individuals potentially be any one of you, all right, who could be working in this big accounting firms. Or if you are not interested in working big accounting firms, then perhaps you can even work for organizations such as Petronas. And the top people, the chairman of Petronas, the president and the CEO of Petronas, the senior general manager of Petronas, right? What qualification do they hold? They hold the qualification called ICAEW. Okay. Who else hold the ICW qualification? Tony Fernandez. The person who started up Mr. DIY, and even if you want to work in a radio station, right, BFM, you can do that as well. Okay, so these are corporate leaders of the real world that potentially you will be working towards, and you can do that all in Malaysia. And one more thing, if you look at Kazana, right, the managing director of Kazana, the chief financial officer of QSR, right, which is owning the Pizza Hut as well as KFC. All these organizations, right? They have the top people in the organization. Who are they? They hold the ICAW qualification. Okay, even in Sun Derby as well. So now, who else is in? Who else also holds the ICAW qualification? Let me show you. Malaysian and econo Malaysia Economic and Finance Leaders of Malaysia. All right. So Rafizi Ramli holds a ICW. Okay, Tan Sri Hassan Marikan holds the ICW. He's the chairman of the special advisory body of the Minister of Finance. Okay. And of course, the person who takes care of all our money, right, in the public sector. Okay. The public sector, all right, would be Tato Johan Mahmoud Marikan. He is also a ICW member. So, from the organizations, all right, that you want to start up as an individual to all the way towards the being a government linked company or even working in the in multinational, right, in our audit firm, okay, we need accountants. And they are not just only normal accountants, they are at the top of their game, they are at the top of the organization and the top of the government, okay, taking on this qualification. So if you have this qualification, your limits are not just within Malaysia, 
And do know that this qualification is recognized throughout the whole world, all right? And not many qualifications are recognized in the United States of America, okay? So because ICW is together, is a, a member of the Global Accounting Alliance, all right? And therefore, if you have this qualification, you can work in New Zealand, Australia, all right? Japan, okay? Hong Kong, UK, Af South, South Africa, as well as in USA. Okay, and these are the qualifications across the world that recognize each other. And from there on, right, do take note that we also have a lot of accountants who have graduated and are still doing a qualification with us, right? I have here Adam, okay, he just finished um, the professional level, right, and now doing the advanced level. And now he's actually working not in Malaysia, he's working in PwC, our accounting firm in Malta. And I also have a graduate, Amiro. And where is he working now? He is working as a manager, right? An accounting uh, assurance manager in New Zealand. Okay. And of course, Jinwei, he's working in Dubai. Pingsum is working in UK. And she is now working in Singapore. So this qualification takes you across the world. All right, and don't think that okay, you will be limited to Malaysia only. All right, if you want to stay in Malaysia, well, of course, you can climb up the corporate ladder. But if you are not interested in working in Malaysia, it opens doors for you. All right, so why would you want to do a qualification like ICW? Number one, it gives you the versatility, the versatility to work in any type of organization because every type of organization will require an accountant. Okay, and you don't need to be an accountant also. You can also work in the human resource, marketing, all right, operations, okay, and become the CEO and the chairman of the organization. It is a versatile qualification. And because it's such a popular qualification, right, what's going to happen is your career will be very strong and your career will take you to many different places and you are going to gain an independence for yourself, all right? You have to you you have to understand that once you have got the financial power the financial capability you gain independence all right you'll be an independent individual okay you don't have to depend on anybody else and you don't have to worry about your career or your future and of course doing different different types of companies working in different different types of companies with that kind of money that you're going to earn right in different parts of the world is an exciting career it opens doors for you it helps you to see things that a lot of other qualifications won't bring them, right? Because this accounting qualification allows you to travel abroad, work in different companies, work in different types of sectors, all right? Even if it's in technology, all right, it is an exciting career that many people don't realize that they're gonna get into, all right? So, and with that, okay, if you have any questions, do post it in our chat room, all right? And then I will now hand it on to uh, my colleague, Rafik, okay? to talk about the uh, how do you become a qualified accountant or a tactics qualification with us. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, wait, let me check. Uh, OK, sorry. All right. Hi. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, yeah, I know, I believe uh, some of you right now uh, tengah pun berpuasa, am I right? Uh, so, thank you, okay, uh, willing, because you are willing to join us, okay, and hear our presentation, uh, our briefing, our info sharing, okay? Alright, so without further ado, I think, uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. Okay, uh, my name is Rafiq, and uh, I'm the person in charge for the Bumi Putra sponsorship. Okay, for the Bumi Putra sponsorship at Sunway Test. All right. Um, okay, yes, to be fair, for those who are non Bumi Putra, uh, you also have a scholarship. Okay, Quran pun ada juga. Don't worry, just come to Sunway Test. Okay, and we will provide you a few sponsorship that are available at Sunway Test. Okay. All right, and for those Bumi Putra, okay, uh, this is a good news for you guys, okay? This year, okay, just for your information, this year, 
um, uh, there is one scholarship yang before this dia 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 tak offer to to uh, CPEP ICAW okay um, but this year uh, this is the first time yang dia akan offer to you guys okay CPEP ICAW alright um, so okay let me share my slide. Okay, Bumi Putra sponsorship. Okay, um, just for your information, the name of the sponsorship actually is not Bumi Putra sponsorship. Okay, it's just that I cannot reveal the name of the sponsorship because the application has not opened yet. All right. So uh, today I'm just I just going to call it as Bumi Putra sponsorship. All right. Okay. So next. Okay, uh, let's go through the uh, sponsorship details here. Yeah? Right next. Uh, okay, this is the requirement. Okay, this is the, uh, the process. Okay, let's start with the requirement first. Okay, the first one is your maximum age limit must be 19 years old and below. All right. Okay, 19 tahun dan ke bawah. All right. So for those who yang dah baru uh, settle SPM, baru habis SPM. This is the best sponsorship for you guys. This is the time for you to apply this sponsorship. All right. Number two, Bumi Putra. Okay. And the third is minimum seven A's, including maths and English. All right. So, uh, apa maksud dia is, uh, we need seven A's. The first one must be English, maths, and the other five you can mix. Any subject, okay. Let's say bahasa Melayu, uh, sejarah, apa lagi? Uh, I don't know, uh, science, uh, agama, anything. As long as minimum seven is okay. All right. And then uh, after you have uh, meet the requirement, you apply, and then we will go through all your application and everything. If you met the requirement, then we will call you for the assessment and also interview. All right. So for the assessment, there will be two, two assessment for you guys. The first one is English and the second one is uh, Mathematic. All right. Don't worry, it's not uh, at maths. It's just uh, normal Mathematic. Uh, what we call it? Um, normal Mathematic. Lah. Apa. Uh, not at maths. Okay. All right, and then after you guys uh, settle the assessment, the interview, and you have submitted all the documents that we require, and then we will submit to the sponsorship body, and uh, we just need we, uh, just need to wait for, for them to to disclose siapa yang berjaya, siapa yang tak berjaya. All right, for those uh, who have been offered by this uh, the sponsor. You will go through the uh, contract duration. Your sorry, your contract duration will be five and a half years. All right. Okay, and uh, one and a half years is for you to do the CFAP, and the balance four years is for you to do the ICAW. All right. And then uh, you you need to make sure that you can compete within the contract duration. Yeah. All right. But don't worry. I think most of you, semua mesti, you can do it lah. You can you can complete within five, five and a half years, okay. And then uh, after you have completed your your uh, ICAW after CFAP, then ICAW after you have completed your ICAW, then only you will be highly employable, uh, Bumi Putra Accountants with Professional Accounting Certificate. All right, okay. Next, okay. What this uh, Bumi Putra sponsorship will cover for you. Okay, I would say actually they will cover almost everything related with your study. Seriously, that's the reason why I said that this sponsorship is one of the best for Bumi Putra. So for you guys who are Bumi Putra, please, this is the best sponsorship. Please apply and you can apply for this CFAP ICAW. All right. Okay, what will they cover for you? The first one is tuition fee to the institution and then professional body fees. Any other related cost? Okay, any other related cost? This one includes the uh, registration fees, examination fees, exemptions, 
exam fees, all the fees lah, okay, related with your study. Okay, and then, this Bumi Putra sponsorship also will cover for your NDP program. What is NDP? NDP is the Nature and Development Program, okay. Uh, this program is more to... Uh, uh, to have you to, to to prepare for your working environment ah okay okay and then on top of that okay this uh sponsorship body will also cover not only for your pocket money every month but also your accommodation you see so it's like you datang cuma datang lenggang kan everything will be covered for you you know from the fees datang datang dapat fee uh, fees semua dibayar and then what uh uh, accommodation pun dah ada and then bulan-bulan dapat lagi duit you see so everything will be covered for you okay uh, so that's why I told you this is the one of the best sponsorship for Bumi Putra all right next okay uh, this is some of the module sorry I think you missed that one just now back Uh, okay, it's okay. Uh, move. Next. Next. Okay, all right. Actually, at that one, uh, that slide, actually, we have the, supposed to have the, uh, all the NDP modules, but it's okay. Uh, maybe we, we want to, kita nak surprisekan you guys. Ah, you guys masuk nanti, baru korang tahu what are the module, all right? Uh, okay. Okay, so this is my contact number. If you guys uh, nak tanya anything related with this uh, Bumi Putra sponsorship uh, or apa-apalah, okay, you can just contact me, alright. And I have received a few question lah, okay, daripada parents, daripada student, bila nak buka, bila nak buka, bila nak buka, okay. This one actually uh, up until now, kita pun tak tahu, okay, bila this sponsorship body will open the application. Um... Most probably we, we target maybe around around May. Okay, so what you guys need to do is you guys uh, just, you can just, uh, what do you call that? Uh, follow our social media. Okay, follow our social media. And bila dia buka je, the application open, we will straight away post in our social media and you guys will straight away apply this sponsorship. All right? Okay. So, yeah, I think that's all from me. Um, uh, okay, there is a link uh, dekat below ni, ada link. Okay, this this link is for the uh, attendance form. Okay, so you guys boleh, boleh isi that form. And uh, if we have any news regarding this sponsorship, bila dia dah buka and everything ke apa ke, we will let you know. Okay, kita akan blast to you guys. Alright, so please uh, uh, check our website. Okay, follow, uh, sorry, check our, our social media, follow our social media. We will post everything related with the sponsorship, with the uh, CFAP, ICAW and everything. We are going to have uh, one more uh, maybe event, okay, uh, later on. Uh, so stay tuned, just check uh, our, our social media, yeah. Alright, so I think that's all from me. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and selamat hari raya in advance. Okay? Alright. Hello everybody. Do you have any questions for Rafiq and myself? If you have, you can post it in the comments and then we can answer them. So, look at it. Um, <clears throat> Any age limit in terms of to take this course? Uh, there's no age limit to take the course, but I think if you want to do the if you want the scholarship, right? There is a age limit of uh, it must be below nineteen to get the scholarship. But to take the course, all right, there's no limit. Okay, but for you to uh, get the scholarship that Rafi is offering, uh, you will need to make sure that you are below nineteen. Am I right, Rafi? Below nineteen. Yes, below 19, yeah. Yeah, to qualify for the scholarship. But there's no age limit to the course. Any other questions? I do remember this qualification will take you to greater heights. 
Okay, you look at all the profile of the individuals that we shared with you, right? They are the top in Malaysia. Okay, they are advisors to our government. Okay, so why are they chosen to be that kind of advisors? Is because they know what they're doing, right? And kind of imagine that kind of lifestyle they've actually gone through. They are really the cream of Malaysia. Okay, with the kind of money, with the kind of career, with the kind of capability, right? Everybody would love to hire you. Okay, why? Because they have this qualification. And I know that a lot of all these big companies, when they know that you're ICW qualification, right, they grab you. Okay, they really fight to grab you. Okay, so this is a very, very good opportunity to do this qualification. And on top of that, right, you do it with scholarships some more. Okay, so it's so wonderful. Yes. Right. And in terms of yeah, this yeah. qualification, uh, what's the difference between ACC and ICW? Okay, I think this one you will need to do a bit of research online. Okay, compare which year they are established, compare in terms of the way that they have been, uh, the structure of the paper, all right? So this is um, a difference that you have to discover yourself. But from what I understand from this particular two qualification is, all right, um, the ACCA qualification, you finish it, then you go out to work. But for this qualification, you do halfway, then you go out to work, then you come back and continue with some of the papers. So this paper required the ICW requires you to combine the uh, your working experience, right, to be able to qualify. Okay, and of course historically, if you look at when it was established, right, this qualification ICW was established way before, right, this qualification. And in terms of recognition wise, in the past, remember, this qualification cannot be taken here. So therefore, macam you know exclusive lah, right, very exclusive because. You can only go to UK to do, tapi sekarang you can do it here, right? So therefore, there are very few people who have this qualification. Macam back earnings lah, right? Yang you know, you know, very exclusive, right? So that's one very big feature of this qualification. Tetapi you pun perlu result yang baik, because the minimum requirement for you to do this paper is Rafi, how many A's? Seven A's. Okay. Uh, for for this sponsorship part, eh, maybe. Maybe I would like to add something. All right. For this sponsorship part, okay, uh, this Bumi Putra sponsorship, they will offer both to ACCA and also ICAW, okay? But then, uh, to make it easier for you guys, okay, uh, untuk senangkan korang semua, saya bagi tahu satu tips, okay? Because uh, for the ACCA, uh, the requirement is 5 A's and above, okay? CFAP 7 A's and above. So, the tips is, for those yang uh, seven A's and below, maybe you can apply for the ACCA, okay, uh, a, uh, AFIA, AFIA ACCA, FIA ACCA, and for those who are seven A's and above, you can straight away apply the CFAP. Ah, okay. So, uh, and of course, if you want to do it without the scholarship, it's five A's, lima A. Kalau nak dapat scholarship, to jo A. Itulah bezanya. Any other questions? So because of its exclusivity, all these people who have got a UK qualification, right, have done ICW. But now when you come back and look at it, okay, so there's very few of them, right, very few of them. So quite rare, you know, quite, quite exclusive. Okay. Any other questions? If no questions, then um, with that, I think thank you very much for joining us. We hope to see you as one of my students. All right, because yeah. I teach all the papers. Okay, so I would really love to see all of you. Okay, and I will have to go back to my class. And at this point in time, I've got a class of the whole class of Bumi students. Okay, nineteen of them. All right, sponsorship. Okay, so and we really love to have you all. All right, because I know all of you have very good attitude. Okay, so very good students. Okay, so we love to see you. And with that, goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. See you. Terima kasih. Dan selamat hari raya.